For today's video, I'm gonna go over how to set up and space a side console, as well as measure out your throttle, steering, and shifter cables. These measurements need to be really accurate because if you make them too short, then you won't be able to fully turn your motor left and right. Now, something I did in preparation of this video was I went over to a local Bass Pro and I checked out one of their Bass Tracker Classic XLs, which is very similar in size to this boat, and took a whole bunch of measurements of their side console setup. I had one before, it was very comfortable, so I'm gonna go with that setup. So for today, I'm mainly just trying to get everything in position so I can get my cabling ordered. First thing I wanna do is get the side console unboxed, take a look at how we gotta set it up, and then get everything all figured out. All right, so the basics of the side console, you've got your front, You've got your back where the uh, steering wheel and everything mounts to. This is the mount that goes onto the side of the boat. These holes right here are to allow access to drill through the side here. So now it's just going to be adjusting the leg to make sure this sits at the right height. What I want to mark off here is how far the leg rises into the console. That way I know how much I need to trim it. Are you sure that's a good idea? Now I know that there's at least this much of the console rising up into the hood here. So we've tested the level of the boat. We know that the boat is nice and level. So as long as we level the side console, everything will match when we're on the water. It's in between a, seven, a 17 and... Now we know that the leg goes into the side console itself three inches. Now to cut this, I think I'm gonna use the chop saw. I get a nice clean straight cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this part lopped off here, and then we'll make sure that everything is level before um, measuring everything out. Now in the instructions, it said that this material can be worked with with just regular uh, woodworking materials. So I'm just gonna use my regular chop saw. I'm gonna get a cut down into it, and then I'm gonna flip it over and then cut it again to get a nice straight line. All right, well, that is a pretty perfect cut. Let's see if this fits and it's nice and level. All right, really happy with this. Let's go ahead and start getting everything spaced out for how I did my measurements. Okay, so I took a whole bunch of measurements to try to get this to fit the best I can. The Bass Tracker has a 26 inch wide console. This one is 25 inches. Okay, so we're pretty close on that. The console is 31 inches from the rear deck. So I measured from the back of the deck, uh, the back platform on the tracker to the front of the console. So that measured out to 31 inches, which would put it a little further forward. Let's go ahead and just move this a little forward. Okay. 26 inches to the center of the wheel. So if the wheel sticks out six inches, that would be about right here. What I'll do is I'll put this right here. This is going to represent the steering wheel, the center of the steering wheel. And then we're looking to have about 26 inches in distance. So we're at 23. Okay, so we're pretty close. Okay, so first I'm going to start with the steering cable. The steering cable needs to start where the wheel starts. We'll just call this two feet. We're a little, we're two inches shy of two feet. So we'll call this two feet. Now from the console to the side of the boat, where the cable is gonna route six. And then now we need to come in where the motor is, sit into the center of the boat, which is another three feet. And then we also are gonna have a five inch rise on it. So that's gonna be another, I'll say that I'll just add another foot for that. So that puts us at a 12 foot steering cable length. Uh, we can always account for a little bit of extra steering cable, but I'm not gonna be able to account for not having enough. Now for the throttle and shift cable, it's a little bit different. So if we start from where the actual throttle box is gonna be, you're starting with about six foot, then you're coming in three foot, so you're at nine foot, and then with the riser and coming into the motor and having room to turn, I was advised to do about two foot extra. So in the next video that I'm working on the side console and, and motor mounting and all that, we'll be able to see how all the measurements fit into place and how we can route our cables and things like that. 